absolute favorite coffee cup ever. Hey, my friends, it's Patrick Almond, and uh, this one won't take too long. Uh, yeah, what time is it? It's um, it's seven thirty on a Sunday morning here in Oklahoma City, and uh, I, th- I just found something as I was working on my calendar for the week that was pretty cool, uh, and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, and this really is going to work well for those of you who live in Google World. And by Google World, I mean you use Gmail for your calendar, you use Gmail for email, or you use any Google apps or anything like that. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan, or I coach people on um, on being high achievers and, and setting goals. And one of the ways I love to do that is to teach people to put recurring appointments on their calendar. So if you want to go to the gym on a regular basis, you need to have – uh, go into your calendar and put, you know, your weekly or your every other day gym appointment on your calendar. That's the only way you're going to do it. If you want to read a book, if you want to visit a certain place, if you want to do different things, one of the best ways to do is become is to become disciplined and build habits out of this. And this was, was I was I was putting an appointment on my calendar for for later this week. And on my Gmail, here's my here's my my trusty iPad, which I'm trying to live off of these days. And I thought this was pretty cool. You know, you know on, on Google Calendar, you go down here and you click plus, and for a while now, we've had reminders and events on here. But I just noticed a new one on here called Goal. And so I went in here, and you can basically now help use Google Calendar to help you schedule some kind of goal, which is thing. This is the feature I was doing manually anyways by putting recurring appointments on my calendar. So I can pick a goal like, um, you know, I want to I want to exercise more right here, and then it, it'll... And of course, you can do this completely custom, but there's a wizard that will walk you through this. Um, maybe I want to spend more time with friends and family. Maybe I want more me time. And some of you out there need more me time, and you know exactly who I'm talking to because you just chimed in on the live, girlfriend. But you can come here and say, I want more me time. And maybe I want to um, probably do a personal hobby more right here. And then you say, um, you know, what hobby? Oh, maybe go bowling. And again, this is completely customizable. How often you do it right here? And I want to make sure I don't get too crazy here. Uh, yeah, you think? Um, so maybe once a week right here, and I say, oh, two hours. And you give it the time, and let's say, uh, I don't want to screw up my own calendar here too much. So let's say it's going to be morning time right here. I want to go bowling um, once, you know, once a, one session a week, two hours right here, calendar will schedule. And so what will happen if I complete this wizard right here for that goal I want to accomplish. What will happen is Google Calendar, this, this, this goal setting wizard will go through and it will, it will look at all the things you currently have scheduled in your calendar and it will find a time to fit in this goal. So, you know, I, I have my, my exercise appointments, for example, I schedule those in the evenings on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then Saturday morning. But if you're the kind of person who wants to exercise more, you can say, hey, I want to exercise um, more and I want it to be three times a week and, you know, evening or morning is the best time, it'll go look at your calendar, figure out all your other appointments and wedge those exercise times in there. And again, this is something I've been preaching people do manually on Google Calendar for a long time. I'm a huge fan of recurring appointments. So if you're a person who uses Google Calendar a lot, um, look at that feature when you start scheduling things. I mean, if you're going to write a book, for example, um, you could just do a regular recurring appointment to write a book, but maybe it's not the same time every single week that's best for you. This will help you find those different time slots. Maybe you're really open this week, but the next two weeks you're kind of slammed, uh, and then you're open the week after that. It'll It'll kind of wedge all those in there and so anyways i thought that was cool this morning as always i've got my coffee cup from my daughter right here which uh, is the basis for most things i do these days if you're having coffee right now or tea or whatever you're having i already have my morning water by the way and my oatmeal uh, chime in in the comments below whether it's live or recorded just let me know what you're doing then i figured my house is quiet at 7 30 in the morning on a sunday it's just the cats and i and uh, and I saw this feature, and I would just kind of uh, what which is what really woke me up is I saw this cool feature on Google Calendar. So do me a favor, make sure everything you put on your calendar is always goal based, and Google Calendar uh, is helping you do that these days. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. Do me a favor if it has been helpful, you know the drill: like, comment, share. And I'd be curious if you have any kind of goal setting process <clears throat> like that, but you do it manually, <clears throat> how you do it. Of course, there's lots of. Um, lots of uh, productivity and goal setting tools out there and sometimes I have to be careful because I will get into uh, um, 
I will get into the habit of spending a lot of time looking for productivity tools, which of course kills my productivity. There's a whole separate side joke about that. Hey Beth, hopefully the tea is hot and good and sweet if you take it that way. For the rest of you, coffee up, drink up, and you know the you know the drill, you know the motto. See, when does it get in focus? It gets in focus right about, I think it gets in focus right about here. Okay, I wanna work on playing with this feature some more. If there's anything cool that comes out of it that I learned, I'll share it later. Otherwise, I'm gonna do what I plan to do this morning, which there's a book uh, I've been trying to finish on being a better thought leader. And I'm gonna go pick that up and try to polish that off today. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.